Um, I don't know how this this happened. Um, we both recently tweeted that Instagram might be on its way out. Um, I had my reasons for saying that. What what made you say that? I think that it came. It comes from the sort of frustration of all of the different changes and seeing the transformation right before our eyes of how of of what the intention of these platforms are really for you know i mean we've seen it happen with facebook obviously facebook is super powerful i'm a huge like fan of facebook ads and all that stuff maybe we'll talk about that later but you know instagram to me the joy of instagram was being able to just like express yourself through like a visual medium and now it's basically turning into uh what seemingly is a platform to get people to buy things, you know, upselling, shopping, stuff like that, which is cool too. Um, but it's sort of taken away from the experience of what it's what I enjoyed personally about uh, Instagram. So that's kind of why I said that. And, and you're kind of seeing the same thing potentially happening with Twitter. So it's just really interesting to keep an eye on and see everything evolve. Well, let's let's talk about your um, your use of the Facebook ads platform because it's the same as the Instagram ads platform. I mean, for me, I use it all the time too. And so this isn't just me saying I'm, I'm, I'm nervous about the course of Instagram because of, I'm an end user and it's annoying to, you know, go, you know, to click on my, my notifications and I, I get someone's trying to sell me Adidas, but um, it, it also concerns me because if people start leaving that platform, then and I'm, I'm paying thousands of dollars to advertise whatever it is to them, then I'm, I'm wasting money and, and I have to find a new ads platform. Um, I guess in terms of this was always my fear when this kind of thing happens, where else do we go? Uh, what are you thinking is, is maybe on the cusp of becoming a good space for producers? I think, well, not to even plug you guys, but honestly, BeatStars is turning into that that space, that sort of like one-stop shop space for most producers to be able to take advantage of and really use the platform to their advantage. Now, outside of that, though, I, I think it's anyone's guess, to be honest with you. I, I'm not even really going to, I'm not going to start to even really, I'm not going to try to begin to even try to predict that. But what I will say is that your note, we're noticing that every year, every other year, there's some type of like pivot that happens. And I think that if that's a concern for anyone, I think that, you know, being smart with like how you pivot is probably going to increase your chances of staying ahead of the curve. So like, you know, Clubhouse, for instance, that's like one sort of exciting new platform that people have started to talk about. And we're still yet to see kind of where that goes. But I think in its early stages, it's definitely smart to kind of uh, do research on it and 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 insert yourself into that matrix and start building it now as opposed to just like waiting later. So I think the next, you know, two to 10 years, it's going to be a lot of pivoting into different places. Um, and as long as we're mindful of that, I think as creative people, like as long as we just start to keep exploring these different options, then you know, we can start to build our, our stuff from there. But to be honest with you, I don't think Facebook is going anywhere, anywhere anytime soon. So that's good news for guys like us, I guess. 